Welcome out to Maple Mountain High School. We got a matchup here today between the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles and the Spanish Fork Dons. It's a rematch of the first game of the series on Tuesday, which Maple Mountain took by a score of 7-4. Tonight's game is brought to you by the sponsors, Two Jacks Pizza. Look out for our doubles on the Two Jack Double. Lance Wilson State Farm, always assisting with a great RBI. MVP Sports. Also keep an eye out for the best player of each game because they will be our MVP Sports MVP of the game. MVP Sports Sporting Goods for all seasons. The Car Guys, they'll sponsor all of our replays. And then Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Look out for our Triple T Triples. And of course, SFCN, Built for Speed. Well, it's, it's a rematch of two really strong Region 8 teams. Neither one has found their footing or has a firm place in the region. Right now, Maple Mountain a couple games ahead of Spanish Fork, but both looking to get into placement to find themselves in the postseason. On Tuesday, we saw Sam Moore with two two-run doubles that took the game for Maple Mountain, who they really had the bats going, but Spanish Fork had some good pitching at good times, and uh, they made a game of it. We traded one-run leads four times until Maple Mountain took that bigger lead. We're going to take a moment here and listen to the national anthem. Nice rendition of our national anthem there. I think that is uh, one of the first live ones I've heard in high school baseball here in Utah. So excellent there. Uh, first up, of course, will be the away team, the Spanish Fork Dons. <coughs> They'll be uh, the leadoff hitter will be Tanner Argyle. He's at third base today, followed by his brother Devin Argyle playing at second. He'll be followed up by Briggs Newman, who's playing first. Riley Daniels is at cleanup. He rounds out the outfield at shortstop. Bracken Ar Archibald is uh, in left field hitting fifth. Brandon Bradford, right field hitting sixth. Brooks Ringer is your designated hitter in the seventh spot. Josh Cowden, catcher, he's uh, hitting eighth and then hitting ninth. Uh, Brady Brook in center field. Brady with great speed has done a great job from that nine spot. On the mound today, Nate Kiesel. He is actually replacing Rainey, who was supposed to start today, but is uh, having dealing with some injury stuff. Had a hard time walking over the weekend, and he's getting back into things, but coach wants him to be a, at 100% before he comes back. I believe he just kind of slipped and uh, hurt his groin, so hopefully he can come back and be ready healthy. This will be the first start of the year for Nate So We've seen him pitch a few times, but uh, this will be his first time on the mound. Now, in the field for Maple Mountain, we are broadcasting on channel 16 and 17, home of each, the Spanish Fork Dons and Maple Mountain Golden Eagles. The man on the mound will be Tyson Ellis. The man behind the plate, Bailey Roberts. Jaron Hall in center field, Kate Polson at third, Sam Moore at shortstop, Dawson Hall in right field, Tito Dennison at first. Tyson Ellis, as he's heard, was will be pitching. West Childs at second base. Jake Roberts is your DH, and Quinn Green is out in left field. Here's Tanner Argyle leading off. Strike one on pitch one from Tyson Ellis. Showing bunt on pitch two and taking a strike is Tanner Argyle. So no balls, two strikes. Hey, let's go three. Come on, 
That one does not get the backwards K. Swing and a miss for strike three and Tanner Argyle. Good closing pitch from Tyson Ellis. Argyle definitely didn't see that one and a good job of making sure he held on to that by Bailey Roberts to get the foul tip out. So one up, one down. Pitch one, just off of it, fouls it back. A lot of strikes so far from Tyson Ellis. Strike two, so really good counts thus far for the pitcher from Maple Mountain. Devin's gonna choke up here and try and get one out on Tuesday. He, he was 0 for 4. Oh, it looks like he had a single with an error that moved him over to second. Other than that, a walk, a ground out, two ground outs. So one for three officially. And he's seeing if he goes. And they say he did. So two men up, two swinging strikeouts for Tyson Ellis. Not a bad way to start. Now Briggs Newman, your first baseman, coming up for the Spanish Fork Dons. Briggs again in the... Part one of this flew out to center, grounded out to short, walked and had a single. So another uh, one for three. That one may be the first mistake so far from Tyson Ellis, it's low and outside. Low once again, good place to miss on a tall guy like Briggs who will have a lot of power if he leaves one up in the strike zone. And he nails this one, and it drops right in front of Dawson Hall. So the two out hit from Briggs Newman, first hit of the game, and Dons are in business with two outs. We talked about it on Tuesday, and it's been critical for Spanish work, both on offense and defense this year. Hitting with two outs. You can snag a run here. Again, trading one run leads is pretty common with these guys, so everyone that comes across the plate matters. Riley Daniels now at the plate. He started on Tuesday at, at pitcher, today at shortstop. Fouls this one back. We've seen a few of those, and usually you're not too far off, and that's a similar pitch to the one Briggs was able to take out to right field. Big swing and a miss there from Riley. He's taking hacks both times up. Might be good news, might mean he's seeing the ball. Good to be aggressive. Hopefully he has a feeling for how it's coming out of Ellis's hand as well. Uh, throw over, Newman gets back safe. Newman not with a big lead there and a big body, so that dive back covers a lot of ground. Hey, let's go five, come on kid. And that one, I guess it hit him. It was pretty close. Hit by pitch was a very common thing on Tuesday. Uh, I could count them up, but I know we had at least six. So when these guys are missing, sometimes they're really losing it on those breaking balls. So on a two-strike count, turns into a walk, and now men at first and, well, a hit by pitch. So now men at first and second for left fielder Bracken Archibald. That's a nice looking pitch, hitting the outside low corner of the strike zone. Oh, 
another real solid pitch. Those might be two of the better ones we've seen. Seems like Tyson Ellis getting him just a little bit lower because that higher stuff is what uh, the guys were getting good cuts at and what Briggs Newman was able to take into the outfield. This one skied out to right field, could land foul. Long, long run for the fielder and it will land foul. Dawson Hall giving chase, but that one kind of stayed in the air for a very long time and careened its way further right as it went. So another two strike count. Tyson Ellis certainly has been ahead on the majority of these batters. All this happening again, all this base running with two outs. See if the Dons can bring one through. They missed a couple key hits on Tuesday. In fact, they had a, an inning that was where they scored two runs without a hit. A couple of hit by pitches and errors. That one in the dirt. I may have been get it, trying to get him to chase, but it hit, hit in a bad spot for that one. Brecken Archibald had a sacrifice fly, a walk, and a double, so a really good day for him on Tuesday. Doing an excellent job making things happen in that five hole. This one bounces high up. It's, it's grabbed and handled by Cade Polson. Seems to be a little confusion, but a good pickup by Cade. So although a couple runners get on base, nothing doing in inning one for the Spanish Fork Dons. We want to thank our sponsors if we have a moment between the top and bottom of this first inning of what we anticipate to be an excellent matchup. Sponsors today, the Car Guys. Just saw a fantastic replay of a good out from Cade Polson. MVP Sports, the MVP. They'll sponsor the MVP of the game. Lance Wilson State Farm, Two Jacks Pizza, Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, and of course, SFCN Built for Speed. Tyson Ellis, if he keeps switching that way, he's going to be a candidate for the MVP Sports MVP of the game. You can find MVP Sports at 72 North Main Street in Spanish Fork. They do uh, convenient, easy silk screenings for services with your T-shirts, sweatshirts, caps, tote bags, duffel bags, work attire, and more. You do a custom design for a family or a union. It doesn't have to be sports, but uniforms for sports, business. They help you with all your screen printing needs and so much more. So coming up now for the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles, leadoff hitter will be Bailey Roberts, followed by Jaron Hall and Cade Polson, a very destructive pair of aggressive guys there. Cade Polson headed to play baseball at UVU next year. Their cleanup hitter, Sam Moore, wreaked havoc on Tuesday. He was our MVP sports MVP of the game. Very well-deserved honor for Sam. So if we get to that point, an excellent top of the lineup. Every time Maple Mountain gets there, they know they can really get something going. And of course, it doesn't get a lot easier from there. And they got great contributions and base runners for the bottom of the lineup in the last matchup. Again, Nate Kiesel pitching, making his first start of this season. Coach sounded like he definitely trusted him to pitch a good chunk of time, and if he can be efficient, maybe take himself deep and not have to work in too many arms today. Just pitch one to Bailey Roberts, and that one bounces very early. Hits off the ump, making sure he's awake. It's a nice warm afternoon. Just a little bit of cloud cover right now over the sun. I'm very thankful for that. A lot better pitch on pitch two. Night and day on pitch one and two from Nate Kiesel. Another ball there. Two and one count to Bailey Roberts. Bailey 0 for 2 on Tuesday with two ground outs, a walk, and a hit by pitch. So he got himself on base, but uh, not quite getting the hits yet. He's now looking at a 2-2 count.
And this one nailed right up the middle. That's what you want. Looked like he was in on the hands a little bit, but nowhere to go for the shortstop and second baseman. So Bailey Roberts doing his job. Jaron Hall approaches the plate, see if he can move his runner along, get himself on base, and get some offense going for Maple Mountain. He goes at the first pitch, comes over to third, second to one, over to first on a speedy Jaron Hall. Excellent double play going Tanner Argyle, Devin Argyle to Briggs Newman. A hard hit ball, which makes it a little bit easier and quicker for that double play to come through off the bat of Jaron Hall. Check it out on the Car Guys replay here. Tanner snags it over to Devin in the quick turn. And again, lots of speed from Jaron, so an excellent double play. Okay, Polson at third base today. Steps in the box from the right. He also swings at the first pitch, and this one grounds right past Riley Daniels into the outfield. So, always aggressive are Cade Polson and Jaron Hall in, in whatever they're doing, but I personally believe in swinging out that first pitch, whereas a lot of batters like to see it come out of the hand, see it come in, especially from Nate Kiesel, who they haven't seen pitch yet, isn't a starter as well, but both of those guys going right at it. Of course, not good for Jaron Hall, but a good turnout for Cade Polson, and the patience paid off for Bailey Roberts. Sam Moore, again, the hero of Tuesday's game now at the plate. And going is Cade Poulsen, inside pitch, flies over, sweep and tag, and they got him. What an excellent throw down by Josh Cowden, and there was no doubt about that one. And Cade's not slow, but they took care of business there. So we're scoreless after one inning. We'll be right back here on Spanish Fork 16 and 17. In Spanish Fork, see your good neighbor, State Farm agent Lance Wilson, for your insurance and financial needs. Hi, welcome to Two Jacks Pizza. For the best pizza you'll ever taste and our world famous cheese sticks, come to Two Jacks Pizza on Main Street in Spanish Fork or call us for a quick delivery. Are you hungry yet? Need a new car or truck? The Car Guys has the best selection of used vehicles at the best prices in Spanish Fork. The Car Guys know their automobiles to get you the best car for your needs and your budget. The Car Guys at 872 North Main in Spanish Fork. You know Triple T Heating and Cooling, but did you know that Triple T does plumbing? From tankless hot water, soft water, and reverse osmosis drinking water systems, right down to that leaky faucet. Triple T sure does plumbing. Call Triple T at 801-798-7711 today. MVP Sports is the number one source for sporting goods in Spanish Fork. Football, soccer, all the fall sports, we've got you covered. Check out our new custom t-shirt builder. Design at home and we'll build it for you. MVP Sports, 72 North Main in Spanish Fork. Back here on Smash Fork 16 and 17, Brendan Bradford now leading off this second inning for the Spanish Fork Dons, and he sees a strike come across the plate. Close on that one, but a ball call. First inning, a lot of base running traffic, a couple of runners for each one, but no hits came through. All that traffic coming mostly with two outs, and this one gets a hold of, flies into the outfield, but Right place, right time is Dawson Hall. Grabs that one, and that's one up and one down here in the second. Brooks Ringer, your designated hitter, now headed to the plate. Brooks came in as a substitute late in the game on Tuesday. If I'm looking at the right score sheet. Two strikes very quickly into Brooks Ringer. Thought about swinging at that one, didn't feel it, and it gets called a strike anyway. Come now. Come 
Sees that one come in low. Does not chase. Followed by Brookshire, and we'll have Josh Cowden hitting. Very high there from Tyson Ellis. So from 2-0 to 2-2. Two -two. Ellis very high once again, and we've got a full count. Good job of being patient and battling back from Brooks Ringer. That one low and outside, and Ringer, impressively, coming all the way back, taking four straight balls. He'll go to first base with one out. Josh Cowden, who spent a lot of time in the two hole as well this year, taking the signs from Coach Nelson. He also is one of the few lefties. And Brady Brooks. Close play, Brooks lay in the tag, lower on the body from Tito Dennison, but Brooks is safe. Right. Brady Brook anyway will hit, unless there's a double play after this. Good pitch in low. Runner goes, it was a hit and run and it is fouled off by Cowden, so Brooks Ringer will hit, head back over to first. Might have been better too, didn't seem like he got a great jump off of that one, but fouled up and back, so one ball, one strike, one on and one out with Cowden at the plate. Throw over once again, called safe once again. Tito holding on to that ball, maybe wanting to trick him and tag him when he steps off. Runner goes, it's a hit and run again, and this one is fouled way out. Third baseman gives chase. Not there for him, though. So two strikes on foul balls for Josh Cowden. That one he shortened up, came on, didn't get too much on it, but it bounces off the second baseman. He juggles it on the second try. That was West Childs, and an air will land Cowden at first base. So Brady Brook now, just one out, two men on base. Try and come in also from the left side and turn this line up over Tanner Argyle waiting on deck Brooks Ringer at second Josh Cowden at first again no hits they reached on a walk and an error good looking the ball there from Tyson Ellis Big swing and a miss there from Brady Brook. Didn't look like he had a good eye on it, so two quick strikes on Brady Brook. That one in the dirt. Baby Roberts 
quickly tries to check out those runners who had big leads and thought about going with the ball in the dirt. They stay put. Now one ball, two strikes. Brady gets a hold of this one, but very early on it, fouls it way out of play on the third base side. Hey, it's good, too. Come on, Kip. Here's the one-two pitch from Ellis. Hi. So good, patient at bat here from Brady. Two balls and two strikes. Gets a hold of this one. It is way, way back and caught. Just a few feet in front of the fence. Ringer will tag up and get over to third. So now runners at the corner. Dawson Hall has been busy out there already today. Good job tracking that one down after a good piece of hitting from Brady Brook. We go back to the top of the lineup with Tanner Argyle up. Struck out last inning. Now you see Bailey Roberts there giving some signs. Any time, minute, first and third. A lot more scenarios with two outs. Usually pretty simple, you get the out. Uh, with less outs, you may want to cut that runner down, but in this case, get the ball over to first. Get yourself out of the inning. Hey, come on, three, let's go, kid. Come on, three. This one also out to right field should be easy, but Dawson Hall kind of weaves and eventually finds it, and he's got his third out of the day. So great work out there from Dawson Hall. But uh, the balls are flying for the Spanish work Don, so you got to think one will land soon. But again, they leave a couple of men on base. So we're still at 0-0 here in the middle of the second inning. Take a look at our sponsors for the day. The Car Guys, you saw a replay back in that inning. All the good stuff shown to you once again by the Car Guys. Lance Wilson State Farm. We're yet to see an RBI, but Lance Wilson always assisting with that. RBI, Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, MVP Sports, Two Jacks Pizza, SFCN, Built for Speed. Those are sponsors. So back up is Nate Kiesel, scoreless in his first inning of his first start. He's got an excellent defense behind him, and they turned a fantastic double play last inning. See if they can do the same thing again it was they had a, a runner but it was three up three down because of that double play and you saw that double play of course courtesy of the car guys you can find them at 872 north main street or at the car guys ut.net they offer the best prices available in the spanish fork area they've got knowledgeable sales representatives who committed who are committed to bringing you a no pressure buying experience and you can check out their inventory online which is also very nice, but on a beautiful day like today, it's good for baseball, good for car shopping. Pitch one to Sam Moore from Nate Kiesel is low. Gets hold of this one, and it's going to say fair, just hopping over Tanner Argyle. A huge turn from Sam Moore, but he gets back when he sees where that ball comes in at. Now batting, number 19. Hey, roll up, here you go. Dawson Hall. I wonder what it feel like to do it in real life. Sorry, Riley Daniels is over at third, not short. Switched up him and Tanner Argyle there. Dawson Hall steps in, shows bunt. 
Comes in low, pulls the button back. Good eye there. Dawson looking for those signs. We've already seen a couple of hit and runs attempted by Maple Mountain today. Runner fakes going. Ball comes in. Good looking pitch there from Nate Kiesel. That'll be ball too, so two balls, no strikes. Man on first, nobody out. Dawson Hall now with a little bit more of a hitter's count. Can be patient if he does want a bunt. Can definitely be more picky. He will turn and bunt. And uh, seemed a little half-hearted. <laughs> He kind of bent at the waist rather than really squaring his body around, which you want him to get low and get their back arm behind that one, and that just foul tips back, but it looked like a strike from Kiesel. So now one and two. Kiesel throwing back over, making sure Sam Moore doesn't try to steal, but almost no lead at that time for Moore. Time called. I don't think either pitcher's gotten into a great rhythm yet. And we've seen runners go, but not a ton of issues on the base paths. Keys will be in very cautious. And that went like a swinging bunt. <laughs> and that's an awkward one. It lands in dead space. I don't, I don't, I've never seen that before. I've watched a lot of baseball. I've seen some swinging bunts, but that was just perfectly located. It was, you have your second baseman who's not playing up. You have your pitcher who it just soars past. And so a swinging bunt single of sorts for Dawson Hall. And now with nobody out, runners at first and second for the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles. Tito Dennison will step in. Tito, another substitute, did not start on Tuesday. Shows bunt and the pitch comes way inside. Runners had some big leads, not holding it first because of that, that bunting situation. Briggs Newman in close because he wants to try and get that out at third if possible if he pushes it up that first baseline fast enough. A little in front of the bag. Now encroaching on the grass is Riley Daniels over at third. So looking to cut down that run it. Show and bunt all the way. And it is a strike. So one and one, two on, nobody out. Nate Kiesel on the mound, Tito Dennison at the plate. Looking to drive in Sam Moore and Dawson Hall, or just bunt him over in this case. Squares turns back. Very high pitch in there, so two balls and one strike now. Again, we've seen uh, some high bunting, and, and on that swinging bunt, Dustin Hall did get in more of a squared bunting position, but definitely kind of a swinging bunt at it. And again, a, a high looking bunt from Dennis in there. Better square and in on his feet, so time called now with three balls and one strike in danger of loading those bases with nobody out is Nate Kiesel. Hitters count, but when you're bunting, may take this one and See if you can move over and keep yourself in the game. Kiesel having trouble finding the strike zone. He got a visit, of course, from his catcher. One out at a time. Bunt shown again, and that's strike two. Ball count to Dennison. 
Message here a lot of time to the pitchers is throw strikes. So you got a defense behind you. You got a guy at the plate who's bunting or he's going to be hesitantly hitting. And uh, you give, give yourself the opportunity to get some outs rather than risking putting him on. Here's the payoff pitch. Comes in low, gets away from the catcher. Runners advance, and they'll take a look at home as the ball rolls all the way to the backstop. But Cowden gets to it. Kiesel was there to cover at home, but in the end, it is a walk, and now the base is loaded. Tyson Ellis going to try and give himself a little bit of cushion. Comes up with the bases juiced. Nobody out. Corner infielders are in. Anything in the infield, and they're going to try and get that out at home, prevent any scoring for the Golden Eagles, who are doing this all without the top of their lineup. Two singles and a walk so far. Low and inside, Cowden tries to frame it. Ump not buying it. One ball, no strikes. It's exactly what you want to see. Perfect pitch there, but Tyson Ellis going to make him throw some strikes. Ellis went 0 for 4 on Tuesday with a ground out, fly out, and two strikeouts. Sees that one come in high. Cowden also very aware. He's going to look to see if those guys take big leads, big jumps, especially on a swing and miss where they may misread what's going on and try and get an out without any contact. That one, another good looking high pitch coming in. Two balls, one strike. Interestingly enough, just everybody making things happen for Maple Mountain. Spanish Fork has actually turned their lineup over already, but no runs to show for it. And this one is high, but he gets a hold of it, and it is back, and it is back. Is it out? It lands just in front of the fence. Brady Brook tracks it down. Brack Arch Brandon Bradford, sorry, throws it back in, and two runs will come in on a fantastic double. Maybe he got under it the tiniest bit too much, but that way over the heads of the outfielder. Tyson Ellis helping his own cause. Two ribbies, and he'll get a pinch runner. So when actually you talk about timing, you know, nobody out, so no pressure, which is nice, but you've got to get hits when there are men on base, and what an excellent job there from Tyson Ellis. Thought it might be out. Check out our car, guys. Replay, this one flies just over the head of Brady Brook. Brandon Archibald comes, helps out, gets the ball back in. Bases don't quite clear, but now you have two men in scoring position with nobody out and a 2-0 lead. Wes Childs at the plate. Strike one comes in to Childs. Big swing from West and good pitch from Nate Kiesel. He looks a little bit frustrated, kind of was finding his rhythm there, had some good pitches, some bad pitches, and that one, the high heat, Tyson Ellis just took advantage of it. That one comes in way high, something we've seen Kiesel miss very high a few times. Seems like there might be a fastball grip that is not working for him and the infield very in right now one two pitch to West Childs comes in low so two and two contact of any sort 
really to the advantage of Maple Mountain right now. And if you're Spanish Fork, you got to know your responsibilities. Do whatever you can to limit damage. With the infielders this far in, anything in the infield should go right home. Outside there, so a full count once again. Keith's already seen a few full counts today. Still nobody out. Ellis and Dennison at second and third. And that is strike three, a beautiful pitch on the inside half from Nate Kiesel, and he gets the first out of the inning. Jake Roberts, your designated hitter, going to come in now for the Golden Eagles. Again, two runs is great, but when you have the bases loaded with nobody out and you continue to be successful, Maple Mountain wants to really get out of this with at least a three or four run lead. It really puts a damper on the game and give Spanish Fork something that they have to chip away at and see as a huge deficit. Pitch one, strike one, coming in to Jake Roberts. That one low, in a, in a good low spot. One ball, one strike, one out. Two on, two runs across already in this inning. Jake Roberts lacking, looking to get the top of the lineup back up. That one comes in low once again. Sam Moore got this inning started off with a single followed by a Dawson Hall swinging button single. Since then we've seen a walk and a double and a strikeout. So a great string of hits and advantageous at bats for the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles. Now three balls and one strike into Jake Roberts. A beautiful count when you have two men in scoring position but also maybe in a position to say hey I'm going to take this one for a ball and get Bailey Roberts back up. And he nails this one. It looks like it's going to be between center field and right field. It's going to roll all the way to the fence. Two runs will score. Roberts rounding second, and he's going to cruise into third with a stand-up triple T triple. He is heating up, cooling down. Don't think it has anything to do with plumbing, but there's a triple T plumbing for you. And it looks like the ball may be If it's stuck under the fence, it'll have to be a ground rule double. It's a little bit of free advertising there for Triple T. I mean, I mean they seem like he earned a triple, but it was actually a two jacks double. But that will still bring both runs in, and Nate Kiesel had a struggle of an inning. We'll see if Coach pulls him or if he gives him the opportunity to try and save some arms in his bullpen and, and pitch another ear. Finish this one up or, or pitch another inning. So a great piece of hitting from Jake Roberts. We've seen two balls, similar spots, very deep to that right center field area. So it should be one out, man on second, Jake Roberts. And back to the top of the lineup, Bailey Roberts, who singled to center field his first time up, leading off the bottom of the first, and then got out on the double play that Jaron Hall grounded into. Big lead for Roberts. And that one comes in low and inside, and Roberts gets that third base bag after all. He earned that 90 feet. He ran it at least twice. So now a man on third with one out. Four runs come across, so that's that lead. Once you have a big inning, you want it to sit at three or four runs at the least. Now Maple Mountain with their big hitters up. That one a little high is similar inside part of the plate that West Childs got struck out on. Now, 
This one grounded right between those middle infielders again. Third time we've seen that happen. Bailey Roberts will be at first base. Jake Roberts will come home. So two singles today right up the middle for Bailey Roberts, and that one turns into an RBI, and it looks like now will be the time that we're going to see a pitching change from the Spanish Fork Dons with Maple Mountain just exploding here in the bottom of the second inning. You can see the car guys replay there. A nice piece of hitting from Bailey Roberts and an easy jot home for Jake Roberts. And we've got a 5 nothing game. A lot of time here for Spanish Fork to string together a couple of big innings to chip away at this lead. Plenty, plenty of time, but Maple Mountain again. Now you have Jared Holland, Kate Polson, and Sam Moore, the guys who you expect to get your runs batted in, are going to head to the plate and see if they can really make this a huge inning for the Golden Eagles. And last game, we saw a pitcher's duel go for a while and a couple of runs go back and forth, but nothing like this. We had one four-run inning from Maple Mountain. That eventually really clinched the game for him. That was the one that kind of broke things open, but uh, nothing like this. So we'll see who's coming in now for Spanish Fork. It looks like Tanner Argyle is gonna go ahead and move from short to the mound. And we'll let you know who's over at short as soon as we get that. Tanner did close out the game on Tuesday, had a couple of efficient innings to keep his team with the opportunity to come back. And they did eventually get the, the tying run to the plate. Game ended on a fly out, but the opportunity was there. And this is, again, an in-region game that Spanish Fork is not going to lay down for. But Jaron Hall probably wants some redemption after rolling into a double play on his in his first at bat. Looks like yeah, one more warm up pitch coming. Cowden going to kind of give him an idea, say, hey, here's what we want to do. All right, so Nick Harrison will enter the game at first base. Briggs Newman will move from first over to short. Hall squares to bunt on his first one, takes a strike. Jake Roberts looking like ready to run. So let's see if Tanner starts to check on him. No balls, one strike. Still just one out and a throw over, but an excellent job of getting back. Runner goes, ball in the dirt. Cowden with the throw on. Already has one throw out today, but that one a little bit late and Jake Roberts gets the steal. I'm sorry, Bailey Roberts gets the steal. So now Jaron with a man in scoring position, that double play no longer in order. One ball, one strike. Ball comes in the dirt, consecutive pitches in the dirt there from Tanner Argyle. Cowden keeping things in front of him and Keeping an eye on third base. Cade Polson on deck. 
And that one is a strike. Jaron thought about it, not to his liking, but a, a good one in on the knees. Two and two now to Jaron Hall. It's the 2-2 pitch from Tanner Argyle. Jaron fists this one right over to Briggs Newman, who swings it over to Nick Harrison, and that's two ground outs today for Jaron Hall. Runner will advance, so now a man on third with two outs. Cade Polson headed to the plate. Cade Polson, last time up, he, he singled out to left field, but then got caught stealing for the final out of the inning. Another one in the dirt. One ball, no strikes, two outs. Five runs come across in this inning for the Golden Eagles. Kate Polson, I'm sure, would like to add one more to that tally while Tanner Argyle looking to get out of here without letting one of his base runners score and get his team back up on offense. Two balls and no strikes. Again, in the dirt every time, so I'm thinking Tanner just missing something he needs to adjust to get that up into the lower end of the strike zone. This is high that time. Three balls and no strikes. Well, that's a pretty good looking pitch. I think that's the area he's been aiming for when those balls are coming in low, but does not get the call. I don't think we've had a cons inconsistent or consistent strike zone. A lot of contact today, but four balls means a walk for Cade Polson. That'll bring up Sam Moore, who led this inning off with a single out to left. Men at the corners now. For Spanish Fork, though, now you do have two outs, and you can really just be concerned with getting an out wherever possible. A quick throw over from Tanner Argyle, an excellent awareness from Cade Polson to get back. Tanner steps off and trying to keep an eye on those runners as best he can. First pitch to the plate is a ball, so one ball, no strikes. Cowden only had uh, one ball get away from him. It did advance the runners earlier in the game, but he, he's done a good job with a couple of pitchers, and both not able to find the strike zone consistently. That one is looking good. That's the one he wanted for a strike that ended up being a, a walk to Cade Polson, but I think that's the area Tanner's been looking for. One ball, one strike. That one inside. Two balls, one strike. And he gets under this one, flies right out to center. Brady Brook takes care of it, and after a lot of havoc, we reach the end of the second inning. Five runs come across for the Golden Eagles. We'll see what the Dons can do when we come back on Spanish Fork 17 in, at just after this break.
in Spanish Fork. See your good neighbor, State Farm agent Lance Wilson, for your insurance and financial needs. Hi, welcome to Two Jacks Pizza. For the best pizza you'll ever taste and our world famous cheese sticks, come to Two Jacks Pizza on Main Street in Spanish Fork or call us for a quick delivery. Are you hungry yet? Need a new car or truck? The Car Guys has the best selection of used vehicles at the best prices in Spanish Fork. The Car Guys know their automobiles to get you the best car for your needs and your budget. The Car Guys at 872 North Main in Spanish Fork. You know Triple T Heating and Cooling, but did you know that Triple T does plumbing? From tankless hot water, soft water, and reverse osmosis drinking water systems, right down to that leaky faucet. Triple T sure does plumbing. Call Triple T at 801-798-7711 today. MVP Sports is the number one source for sporting goods in Spanish Fork. Football, soccer, all the fall sports, we've got you covered. Check out our new custom t-shirt builder. Design at home and we'll build it for you. MVP Sports, 72 North Main in Spanish Fork. Devin Argyle at the plate. Takes strike one, a good looking pitch from Tyson Ellis. 15 versus 15 right now. Devin Argyle his first time up, struck out. And really for Spanish Fork at this point, get men on it and get them in. There's a little less pressure, you know what's going on you just got to get some offense going this one dribbles out to Cade Polson picks it up off the bounce deflects off his glove not sure how they'll rule it Cade Polson upset with himself but Devin Argyle finds himself at first base an odd hop and some spinning velocity on that ball off of Devin Argyle's bat gets him up to first base and gets him to first base and now Briggs Newman your first baseman's up Briggs Newman singled out to right his first time. Sees a nice looking strike come in from Tyson Ellis. Two first pitch strikes so far in third from Tyson. Sees that one come in on the dirt. Devin Argyle keeping a close eye, getting a quality lead out there and being held on by Tito Dennison. Low in once again, good eye from Briggs Newman. Two balls and one strike now. Man on first, nobody out for Spanish Fork looking to put together an inning of their own. Two and two after a good looking strike on the outside half from Tyson Ellis. Riley Daniels, who was hit by a pitch his last time up, is waiting on deck, hoping he gets the chance to clean up. Get himself some Lance Wilson RBIs. This one gets grounded to Poulsen deep in the hole all the way across the diamond and he is safe at first. Hard because the ball wasn't hit that hard and it was very deep. Polson does what he can, but the, just by a step or so, Newman beats the throw. So consecutive ground balls to Polson. I know he's frustrated. I don't know if he could have done much more on that one. Third baseman, Riley Daniels. So Spanish Fork saying, hey, you can do it, we can do it too. They've got two runners on with nobody out here in the top of the third. Riley Daniels getting hit by a pitch last time up. And he's taken a big swing at the first pitch. It was a, it was a 
hitter's pitch to hit for sure, and he was just off of it. So uh, no balls, one strike. Nobody out with the Dons looking to put some offense together. Grab a few of those runs back at least. And this one he fouls off way, way out to right field. Dawson Hall gives a little bit of chase, but it's pretty out pretty early, so no balls and two strikes now. Devin Argyle second, Briggs and Newman at first. Riley Daniels at the plate looking to move him over, bring him home. Gets hold of this one, right to third, out grab there, but then the ball thrown away by Sam Moore. And a run will score and a man will head over to third and beat the throw. Riley Daniels with a very hard hit ball. You get the force out at third, Sam Moore just stepping on the bag, but his throw two outside for Tito Dennison. The ball goes all the way to the fence. You see one run come in, and what was a, a ground out or a, a force out at third turns into a triple for Riley Daniels. And that ball goes between the legs of Bailey Roberts and coming home is Riley Daniels. So just like that, two runs back, a three run deficit looks a heck of a lot better than a five run deficit. And a couple of errors causing problems right now for the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles. So next pitch will be one ball, no strikes to Bracken Archibald, who grounded out to shortstop, or sorry, to third base his first time up. Should be one out on that scoreboard. So the base pass now clear. But Bracken Archibald gonna wanna get something going once again for Spanish Fork. And this one in on the hands popped up. Tricky spot in center, but coming in is Jaron Hall. He will grab it and that's another out. Brendan Bradford now at the plate. Here's some of his teammates say extend it. Hey, do whatever you can to keep us going this inning. Let's take this momentum and try and get another run or so. That one comes to load. Tyson Ellis, again, has been pitching strong, throwing strikes, hasn't made Big mistakes, or if he, he let two singles go that were quality pieces of hitting, those are the kind of pitches you want to see hit for hits. They were strikes, they were to some degree handle handleable. One was deep in the hole and one was just a tricky roll that may actually be rolled in air. But nothing, no big hit so far. At least one air, if not two, have really caused a lot of damage. And then one wild pitch, so three balls. And one strike now one strike. to Brendan Bradford. Flew out to right field his first time up. Gets on this one way down the left field line. Will it stay fair? Doesn't matter, it's caught by Quinn Green. So the top of the third over, the Dons able to get a couple of runs back after a treacherous 
bottom of the second from Maple Mountain. They're going to look to put a couple runs back up because they know three runs is not much, especially in a game like this. And I thank our sponsors who allow us to be here and bring you these exciting games. It's been a very good one. The car guys, you've seen so many replays from them already with all the good stuff going on. State Farm, Lance Wilson, Triple T, Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, MVP Sports, Sporting Goods for All Seasons, Two Jacks Pizza, and SFCN Built for Speed. Lance Wilson, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there, and he's there being, bringing a good assist, bringing in those RBIs, and there were so many in the last two half innings that we've seen. Lance Wilson, you can find him on 220 North Main Street. You can see a theme here. You go down North Main Street, you have a bunch of fantastic local businesses. You can also find him online at LanceWilsonInsurance.com. He does auto, home, life, health, banking products, annuities, mutual funds. He's been with State Farm since 2002. Fantastic local and experienced insurance, insurance from Lance Wilson State Farm. So Maple Mountain returns to the plate. They put up a five spot last time they were here. I'm sure they'd love to do it once again. Don's did a good job at recovering. Tanner Argyle will remain at the plate or at the mound. One ball, no strikes. And that one looks a little bit higher, but he gets it. Another strike. Good start to the inning for Tanner Argyle. And his job is really make these innings quick and give his team the opportunity to score a little bit more and not allow any more damage from Maple Mountain. <laughs> that was a good looking pitch, but he does not ring him up. So two balls and two strikes. A few close ones, some going for him, some going against him. Big swing and a miss there from Dawson Hall. So one up and one down for the Golden Eagles. Preview to that, Dawson Hall had that swinging bunt in the second inning. Got himself on base, came around to score. Now Tito Dennison at the plate. Last inning he took a walk, also came around to score. Both of those guys came in on a Tyson Ellis double. One ball, one strike. Nobody on, one out. Tito Dennison coming in. This one grounded right back to Argyle, he'll toss it over to Nick Harrison for an easy one. So a little trickle off of the bat of Tito Dennison. Tyson Ellis now, last time up, he had a two run double to get the, the scoring started for Maple Mountain. Fouls that one back. So bases clear with two outs. Argyle doing a good job of being efficient so far. This one gets swung and is flying out far to the right. Diving attempt to no avail, but a for effort to Brendan Bradford. Nice effort by right fielder Brendan Bradford. Foul ball. Brandon! 
0 2 pitch. This one, really good contact again. Got under a little bit. It is deep. Brady Brook tracing it, tracing it, grabs it. Three up, three down. Great work there from Tanner Argyle, and they get two back and give up no more. So Spanish Fork making some progress. We head to the bottom of the third. Scores five to two. In Spanish Fork, see your good neighbor, State Farm agent Lance Wilson, for your insurance and financial needs. Hi, welcome to Two Jacks Pizza. For the best pizza you'll ever taste and our world famous cheese sticks, come to Two Jacks Pizza on Main Street in Spanish Fork or call us for a quick delivery. Are you hungry yet? Need a new car or truck? The Car Guys has the best selection of used vehicles at the best prices in Spanish Fork. The Car Guys know their automobiles to get you the best car for your needs and your budget. The Car Guys at 872 North Main in Spanish Fork. You know Triple T Heating and Cooling, but did you know that Triple T does plumbing? From tankless hot water, soft water, and reverse osmosis drinking water systems, right down to that leaky faucet. Triple T sure does plumbing. Call Triple T at 801-798-7711 today. MVP Sports is the number one source for sporting goods in Spanish Fork. Football, soccer, all the fall sports, we've got you covered. Check out our new custom t-shirt builder. Design at home and we'll build it for you. MVP Sports, 72 North Main in Spanish Fork. Brooks Ringer going to lead off the fourth inning for the Spanish Fork Dons. Tyson Ellis, who's got into a little trouble last inning but been pitching well on the mound. Strike two. Two quick ones on Brooks Ringer, who's your designated hitter today for the Dons. Took a deep count to a walk his last time up. I watched that one swing in the dirt. I believe that at bat also started out 0-2, so... Brooks knows he can battle his way back. High and outside, so two and two. This one grounded up the middle in a tough spot, and that'll dribble through for a single. Josh Cowden going to come into the box from the left side. First time up, reached on an air from West Childs. in the dirt once again, and Brooksinger has to be aware of that. We've seen a lot of those from Tyson Ellis may be able to grab a base. Hey, 1-0 -oh pitch. This one soars out foul. So one ball, one strike. Brooksringer on first base. Nobody out yet for the Dons. Looking to grab another couple back after a huge inning from the Golden Eagles. Ringer going to feign going each time. See if he can get Bailey Roberts to make a mistake. Count stick, takes some signs, steps back in. Two balls, one strike. And that's a good looking location that'll end up being ball three. Yeah. 
now a throw over. Keeping Ringer honest, but he gets back no problem. One fouled way back. So a full count now on Cowden. He looks a little disappointed. Maybe he really felt like he was just off that one by a little bit. Had a lot of oomph flying way back over the, the backstop fence. Tyson Ellis has been pretty deliberate all day, but steps off, taking his time. Runner goes. And it looks like it was ball four regardless. So nothing going there. Davey Roberts holds on to it. No unnecessary throws. Now minute first and second. Nobody else. So consecutive innings for the Dons with Two men on and nobody out. And El Ellis is going to get a visit. We'll see if there's a change here. So five to two, but Spanish Fork not looking like they're in trouble. Didn't get down after that big second inning from Maple Mountain. Brady Brook headed to the plate. He flew out to right field his first time up back in the second inning following him if continue to do so Tanner and Devin Argyle will come to the plate it looks like Tyson Ellis will remain in the game him and Polson having an extended conversation Brooks Ringer at second Josh Cowden at first And Brady Brooks going to try and continue the comeback for the Spanish Fork Dons. Center fielder, Brady Brooks now batting. That's good, Q. Squares the bunt, pops this one way up a little bit too far back and had a lot of movement and spin on it as Tito Dennison and Bailey Roberts both gave chase. Not a good first bunt attempt from Brady Brook, but do whatever he can to move those runners over. Squaring to bunt. Gets this one down right at the first baseman. Turn around, throw it over. That was Tito Dennison to West Child. So good job executing, getting the out. It was a hard hit ball, so you'd hope you could turn to another base. But the runners were ready and a good, uh, good sack bunt from Brady Brook. Now one out. But the top of the lineup up now with men in scoring position. Tanner Argo had an excellent inning at the mound. See strike one come in on that lower outside corner. No balls, one strike. That one fell back. So two quick strikes from Tyson Ellis to Tanner Argyle. Tanner has flown out to right and struck out today, so looking for his first time on base. Good looking pitch, but he does not, not call the strike there. Hey, 
Another low one, and Tanner Argyle not tempted, not chasing anything down there. Works himself back into it, two and two now. Two men in scoring position, one out for the Dons. Once down, five, nothing, got two, and threatening to grab a couple more. Thinks about it, doesn't go. That one in the dirt. Good job by Bailey Roberts, not allowing these to get away. A ball away right now. Likely equals a run. Brooks Ringer at third, got to be aware of that as well. Not grabbing too big of a lead yet. Time taken. And this one gets skied out to right field. Dawson Hall gets under it, grabs it, runners will tag. A nice throw in, but no way on that one from that part of the field you're gonna get the runner. And that's a third one in from Spanish Fork. So sacrifice doing it one run at a time. You have time to bring back that big lead. Devin Argyle now gonna come to the plate and he does have a man at third. Cowden able to tag up there as well. So one on, two out. Argyle struck out and singled today. This one, excellent, What a nice bounce up. Good job handling it from Sam Moore. Strikes it over on some of those non easy throw. Perfect look over to Tito Dennison, and that's out number three. But another run comes across, and now it's just a two-run lead. So, like I said, you chip away at that, have a couple of quality innings, and no big deal. Let's thank our sponsors here. Saw some great replays again, once again, from the car guys. MVP Sports, Lance Wilson State Farm Insurance, Two Jacks Pizza, Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, and of course, SFCN built for speed. Fourth inning is really when I start getting hungry every day. And so every time I read the two jacks, I hope for some doubles so I can just think about two jacks pizza a little bit more. They're at 30 North Main Street. You can find them at twojackpizza.com. Also have a location in Provo if you're ever up north. And uh, on the website, they say it's the best pizza you'll ever taste. And I gotta say, I love their pizza, but I also love their pasta. They have good salad, good ranch, which is always important. Also, some wings. And you can dine in or take it home. And it's a great environment to dine in at, but of course, always swing by and grab it. You can take it home. Yummy, yummy pizza from Two Jack's Pizza. So we come into the bottom of the fourth inning. Five to two, Maple Mountain Golden Eagles lead. And I think they know now that Spanish Fork made this a close one once again. They're not going away. They've got to try and tack on some insurance. In the third inning, nothing going a good one, two, three piece of work from Tanner Argyle, who's still at the mound. West Childs leading off for the Golden Eagles. Sees a good strike come in there. He has struck out looking today. Consecutive nice pitches. That, uh, I gotta start watching monitor on those lower pitches because they seem to be to be in a, a good spot from both both teams have been hitting that low one in summer strikes, summer balls. And that one comes in in the dirt. A little before the plate, so no chance to get West to chase. One ball and two strikes. West Childs calls time. He's got two strikes. I'm sure he doesn't want to go down looking again. You never want to do that at all, but more than once in a game hurts your ego. And he get, he got it, and he knew it. Both times he's known, and it's been on that inside half. So another backwards K for West Childs. Jake Roberts going to head to the plate. Jake Roberts, his at-bat today was... 
a fantastic double over the head of the center fielder that drove in two runs as part of that big time second inning. Another good spot, really consistent good spots from Tanner Argyle. Most of them called strikes, not that one. Oh. I guess he went, one, no balls, one strike. And that one, nowhere close, one ball, one strike. Sometimes after a big inning, teams have a have a tendency to lull and Maple Mountain's got to find these bats coming alive one more time. Another strike. So one ball, two strikes. One out, base is clear for Maple Mountain. Bailey Roberts on deck, he's been great today. And a big swing and a miss from Jake Roberts, so consecutive strikeouts to start the inning for Tanner Argyle. So Bailey Roberts in the first inning singled, got out on a double play, and then he singled and stole in the second inning. So looking for looking to go three for three for the day. First pitch low from Tanner Argyle. First time we've seen a two ball, no strike count from Tanner in quite a while. He's really been hitting the zone, but Bailey Roberts showing some patience, trying to get something going with two outs. Three balls and no strikes. And that is a four pitch walk from Tanner, very out of character for the way he's just been pitching so far since he came in for Nate Kiesel. So Bailey Roberts, still two for two today, been on base all day. Jaron Hall, on the other hand, hit into a double play and grounded out to short. So he's, uh, I'm sure, wanted to get himself on the board. He saw his team do a lot of damage and wasn't part of it. One ball, no strikes, two out. Couple of throwovers from Argyle. Cowden also very aware with Bailey Roberts' speed over at first. And that one bounces way in front, bounces off of the umpire. That ball is live. Cowden eventually tracks it down, and the runner will advance. So now a man in scoring position for Jaron. A two out hit here would be huge. Expanding that lead run once again. Again, as long as Spanish Fork is chipping away, if you're Maple Mountain, you don't need another huge inning. But if you can continue to add offense and not let the lull uh, take you over for a few innings, you're going to be a lot better off as Spanish Fork will try and make a late inning onslaught. It's an outside, outside spot I think has been, been called so far today, but that's three balls and no strikes. And that's a definite strike. Man goes third. Late getting over there was Riley Daniels. And I think it could have been a little bit closer. Cowden, that's the nearer throw. You never want to see that, but a really good jump and steal. And Bailey Roberts turns his walk into a pass ball getting him to second and then gets himself to third base with a steal. 
Jaron Hall sees the second straight strike come in. So from 3-0, and he's taken all the way, trying to get himself on base. Hasn't had a great day swinging, but now you got to protect. You got, you got your runner going to be going with three balls and two strikes and two outs. This one grounded over to Devin Argyle, swings it over, and three straight ground outs for Jaron Hall, not able to get that runner home, and we've got a five to three game with the Dons headed back to the plate for the top of the fifth inning. We'll be right back on SFCN 16 and 17. In Spanish Fork, see your good neighbor, State Farm agent Lance Wilson, for your insurance and financial needs. Hi, welcome to Two Jacks Pizza. For the best pizza you'll ever taste and our world famous cheese sticks, come to Two Jacks Pizza on Main Street in Spanish Fork or call us for a quick delivery. Are you hungry yet? Need a new car or truck? The Car Guys has the best selection of used vehicles at the best prices in Spanish Fork. The Car Guys know their automobiles to get you the best car for your needs and your budget. The Car Guys at 872 North Main in Spanish Fork. You know Triple T Heating and Cooling, but did you know that Triple T does plumbing? From tankless hot water, soft water, and reverse osmosis drinking water systems, right down to that leaky faucet. Triple T sure does plumbing. Call Triple T at 801-798-7711 today. MVP Sports is the number one source for sporting goods in Spanish Fork. Football, soccer, all the fall sports, we've got you covered. Check out our new custom t-shirt builder. Design at home and we'll build it for you. MVP Sports, 72 North Main in Spanish Fork. Welcome back to Spanish Fork, 16 and 17. Maple Mountain and Spanish Fork battling. Top of the fifth inning. And strike one comes in to Briggs Newman leading off for the Dons. He's got two singles today. So looking to get this inning started off right. Big swing and a miss. Two quick strikes on Briggs. He'll be followed by Riley Daniels and Bracken Archibald. The last couple of innings, the Dons getting two runs and one run after being down 5 nothing, got themselves back at in striking distance and a good piece of hitting there, a line drive hit out to right field from Briggs Newman and he is three for three today with three singles. So a great day for Briggs Newman in the three hole. Riley Daniels now your cleanup hitter. He was hit by a pitch and then he Grounded into a force out at third, but then there was an error on the throw to try and double him up at first. So he he grounded out, got the force out, should have been at first, but there was an error throwing him there. Ended up on third base after all was said and done, and then was also able to come home on a pass ball. So an interesting last at bat for Riley, and he was also hit. So hasn't gotten been a straight out today, also doesn't have a real hit yet. Good hack on that one. It really seems like they're seeing Tyson Ellis these last couple of batters. That one just off and also in a very appetizing spot for a cleanup hitter. The high heat in the strike zone. Inside on that one. One ball and one strike. One thing we've been hearing from the Spanish Fork coaches is, hey, they won that inning. We tied in the first inning. They won the second inning big. But they've won the third and the fourth. They got, they beat them two to nothing and one to nothing. And as long as they keep winning innings, they'll find themselves in a position to win this game. Another ball flies in there from Tyson Ellis. Two balls, one strike. Nobody out. Briggs and Newman over at first base. Another ball, so three balls, one strike. Tyson Ellis definitely been getting behind batters a little bit more of late. He was very ahead in the first couple of innings. I think if they can escape this one with no runs, Coach will be really happy with five strong innings from Tyson. He's had a couple of errors behind him, hasn't necessarily given up a lot of hits. 
And Riley Daniels very upset with himself. He's had two straight back foul balls. And uh, he knows those could have easily been hits. He's just not quite seeing something that he really feels like he can take a strong hack at. So full count, three balls, two strikes. Nobody out, man on first. From Ellis, I'm looking to just hey, stay down in that zone because that higher stuff he's really liking. And you can grab a double play all the better. And a big swing and a miss for the first out of the inning from Riley Daniels. I think he's upset. Feels like that was really a missed opportunity of an at-bat. But Bracken Archibald heads to the plate now. He's grounded out to third and flown out to center. So looking to get himself on base for the first time today. One ball, no strikes. Bracken to looking to help Spanish Fork win another inning. Again, one run brings them within one. That's all they really need. Good strike comes in from Tyson Ellis. One and one now. Riley Daniels, sorry, Riggs Newman over at first trying to cause some havoc with some, some stop and go looks, but a good job from Bailey Roberts of knowing the situation, being ready to Throw down to Tito Dennison at first. Throw over. Briggs gets back. Ground ball right at second base. Over to Polson at short. Back to first. A double play to end the inning. A fantastic piece of defense. Helping Tyson Ellis out as the Dons look like they were going to get themselves another run. Excellent defense. Check this out on the car, guys. Replay. Sam Moore over to Cade Poulsen. Over to Tito Dennison for the triple play. So what we've seen, or <laughs> the double play, excellent work from both defenses. Seen a couple of double plays get some guys out of innings, and that is a scoreless half inning for the Dons. Take a look at our sponsors while we have a moment. Tanner Argyle gonna warm up and pitch once again. Look at the car guys. State Farm, Lance Wilson, Triple T, Heating, Cooling and Plumbing, MVP Sports, Sporting Goods for All Seasons, Two Jacks Pizza, and SFCN Built for Speed. Triple T, it's time for heating. And then during football, it was September, and we're just like, it's getting a little bit chilly, time for that cooling. But man, it's these days are in those perfect 70 areas, but pretty soon it's gonna be the hot days where you can go outside and then you wanna come home to a cool place. You can find Triple T Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing at 1550 North Main Street or at TripleTHeating.com. Triple T Plumbing, Heating, and Air is an expert in heating, air conditioning, and plumbing services in Utah County and Washington County. They're a family-owned company, and they aim to make your home more comfortable no matter what season it is. So consecutive three up, three down innings. No, I'm sorry, the walk last inning. There was a three up, three down last half inning from, from Tyson Ellis, but... Really good work so far from Tanner Argyle. He had that one four-pitch walk last inning that was very out of character. Polson takes a big hack at this one, skies it out to left. Quinn Green coming in, and he will grab it. He got way under it, got a lot of mustard on it, but it went very high. Gave Quinn time to get under it. And that's one pitch and one out for Tanner Argyle. Good job. We haven't had to say Quinn Green's name yet. He is... The man manning left field not batting today, but an excellent job there by doing his job when called upon. Sam Moore back in the second inning, singled out to left. And that one, a drill job over to Riley Daniels. He gets it over to first, no problem, so about as efficient as you can get. Two pitches, 
two outs for Tanner Argyle. I'm sure he'd love one more of those. Five three, Eagles lead, but they've been put down lately. And a surprise bunt comes in. Riley Daniels picks it up. No chance. And then he decides after the double clutch to give it a shot anyway. Uh, a poor decision. Good job by Nick Harrison of, of taking care of that because unnecessary throws can cause a lot of trouble. He all of a sudden put a man in scoring position. But an excellent bunt from Sam uh, from Dawson Hall. Sorry. Not a spot where you suspect one, and you got your man playing behind the bag, so an excellent job of putting it down right where you want it. Now you got a base runner with two outs. Tito Dennison at the plate. Tito has walked and popped out. Low on the inside on Tito. So only, what, five pitches thrown so far, but a lot going on for Tanner Argyle. He already has two outs, but then an excellent bunt put down from Dawson Hall. That's his second bunt single of the day. First one was a swinging one that kind of fell dead between the second baseman and the pitcher in the infield. Again, pretty good speed up and down the lineup for Maple Mountain, and Tanner Argyle is very aware of that thrown over and thrown over again, trying to catch Dawson sleeping, but no dice so far. Tito Dennison, he's like, can you throw one my way? One ball, no strike, there's a strike. Good looking pitch there. Count evens at one and one. Still two outs, but Maple Mountain looking to get something going, extend this one and uh, add a little bit more cushion with Spanish Fork threatening. Right down the pipe, two balls, or sorry, one ball, one, two strikes. That one comes in high, now two balls and two strikes. Man on and two outs. We're in the bottom of the fifth inning, five to three. Maple Mountain up on Spanish Fork, the Crosstown Rivals meeting for the second time. Maple Mountain took the first meeting on Tuesday. And this one, line drive right at the second baseman. Devin Argyle leaps, grabs, inning over. Game remains 5-3. We'll be right back on Spanish Fork 16 and 17. In Spanish Fork, see your good neighbor, State Farm agent Lance Wilson, for your insurance and financial needs. Hi, welcome to Two Jacks Pizza. For the best pizza you'll ever taste and our world famous cheese sticks, come to Two Jacks Pizza on Main Street in Spanish Fork or call us for a quick delivery. Are you hungry yet? Need a new car or truck? The Car Guys has the best selection of used vehicles at the best prices in Spanish Fork. The Car Guys know their automobiles to get you the best car for your needs and your budget. The Car Guys at 872 North Main in Spanish Fork. You know Triple T Heating and Cooling, but did you know that Triple T does plumbing? From tankless hot water, soft water, and reverse osmosis drinking water systems, right down to that leaky faucet. Triple T sure does plumbing. Call Triple T at 801-798-7711 today. MVP Sports is the number one source for sporting goods in Spanish Fork. Football, soccer, all the fall sports, we've got you covered. Check out our new custom t-shirt builder. Design at home and we'll build it for you. MVP Sports, 72 North Main in Spanish Fork. Welcome back, Spanish Fork 16 and 17. Brendan Bradford in to lead off the six for the Spanish Fork Dons. And he sees a ball come in, so 1 0 count. Gets a hold of this one, launches it between or out to center field. And a good job by Jaron Hall. Good piece of hitting, stayed pretty low, but not quite in that gap. Hall grabs it and a quick out 
for Tyson Ellis. Number seven, designated hitter, Brooks Ringer. Brooks Ringer back up. He's walked and he's singled out to center. So a good day so far for Brooks. He's also been able to score after getting himself on base. Sees a ball come in. One ball, no strikes. One out, nobody on for the Dons, who are still trail by two. They gave up five runs, but they battled their way back. Now they're within striking distance, but have been scoreless for a little while now. He sees a strike fly in. One and one now, the count evens. Fallen Brooks will see Josh Cowden. Swing and a miss, just on the wrong level there. One ball, two strikes on Brooks Ringer. He's seen full counts a couple of times already today, so he knows how to be patient with two strikes. Big swing and a miss that time, not even close. The high heat from Ellis, and he chose to swing to no avail, so two up and two down very quickly. We saw the same thing last inning, last half inning from Tanner Argyle, two outs on two pitches before he gave up a hit and then battled his way to that third out. So see if Cowden can get something going for Spanish Fork with two down. That one right down the pipe. Good-looking pitch on the outside half. No chasing, though, from Josh Cowden. He's reached on an error and walked. So no hits, but no outs either. One ball, one strike. Base is clear. Dons need two more. And they're only going to have one more chance after this to do it. Big swing and a miss. Three up, three down very quickly. Ellis with one of his best innings. And we head to the bottom of the six. Maple Mountain looks to add to their lead while Spanish Fork going to have desperation time coming next inning in the seventh. Let's take a final look at our fantastic sponsors. Allow you to see your high school baseball, both of these teams, as many games as they can put on. The Car Guys, State Farm, Lance Wilson, Triple T, Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, MVP Sports, Two Jacks Pizza, and of course, SFCN, Built for Speed. You can find SFCN at sfcn.org. You can always watch the games on sfcn.org as well as Channel 16 and 17. You can also go to YouTube and go to SFCN 17 on there. SFCN's Built for Speed, Bringing Hyber Fiber, to the home of Spanish Fork. So here we go. Coming to the plate, Tyson Ellis, who just had an excellent inning on the mound, probably aiming to grab a complete game for himself. Ellis today has flown out to center, but also had a devastating double that drove in the first two runs in that five-run Golden Eagle second inning. Tanner Argyle, who's been excellent after he came in to replace Nate Kiesel, still on the mound, and he will look to keep this scoreless and give his team a, the minimum amount of deficit to try and make up in the seventh inning. Strike one comes in. Something we've seen call the ball, but Tyson Ellis on the taller side. Easy ball to see there. Now one and one. That one just misses. Two balls, one strike. 
Maple Mountain, again, has been silent since that second inning. Again, excellent work by Tanner Argyle, but just seemed to be uh, content with that lead. This one gets grounded right up the middle. That's grabbed by Briggs. Over to Nick Harrison, excellent job. Covering some serious horizontal ground there is Briggs Newman. And that's one up and one down for Maple Mountain. For Maple Mountain, it, it would have been nice to see him see just have another, another couple of runs come in and, and give yourself that extra cushion. Two runs, still not a lot for Spanish Fork. They've been signed the last couple innings, but they had the momentum and winning back-to-back -back innings. So Maple Mountain, you want to see him put a little bit more in. Now up, it looks like a pinch hitter for Maple Mountain. I'll grab his name for you. This one is fouled and grabbed. Excellent work from Nick Harrison getting the second out of the inning. Another, we've seen the last few half innings just blazing by. Two quick outs to start, and then each pitcher able to nail down that third one. Now batting designated hitter, number 18, Jake Roberts. Jake Roberts back at the plate. He's got a double. He's got the, the winning runs right now, and then he struck out. One ball, no strikes, two outs, nobody on. Maple Mountain with a two-run lead here in the bottom of the sixth. Nice pitch there from Argyle. Trying to close this one out. One ball, one strike. Robert sees that one come in low. Argyle's been great, and I'm sure he's hoping that he gets a chance to come up in the seventh, which means his team has gotten at least those two runs back. A couple straight. That's the, uh, we've seen that happen once for each team. The ball just go right through the five hole for each catcher. And Cowden does a very good job of keeping things in front of him. Nobody on base, so no harm done. But that one, he's seen so many in the dirt today, and he's able. that one got through. Three balls, one strike. And that is a butte right there. Roberts tried to tried to fake like he felt it was that fourth ball, but very good pitch coming in from Tanner Argyle. Oh, looked like it was inside. Jake wanted it to be, but seemed like an easy call and another ring up. A three up, three down. Again for Tanner Argyle. We'll be back with the final frame here on Spanish Fork 16 and 17. In Spanish Fork, see your good neighbor State Farm agent Lance Wilson for your insurance and financial needs. Hi, welcome to Two Jack's Pizza. For the best pizza you'll ever taste and our world famous cheese sticks, Come to Two Jacks Pizza on Main Street in Spanish Fork, or call us for a quick delivery. Are you hungry yet? Need a new car or truck? The Car Guys has the best selection of used vehicles at the best prices in Spanish Fork. The Car Guys know their automobiles to get you the best car for your needs and your budget. The Car Guys at 872 North Main in Spanish Fork. You know Triple T Heating and Cooling, but did you know that Triple T does plumbing? From tankless hot water, soft water, and reverse osmosis drinking water systems, right down to that leaky faucet. Triple T sure does plumbing. Call Triple T at 801-798-7711 today. MVP Sports is the number one source for sporting goods in Spanish Fork. Football, soccer, all the fall sports, we've got you covered. Check out our new custom t-shirt builder. Design at home and we'll build it for you. MVP Sports, 72 North Main in Spanish Fork. Brady Brook leading off the inning for the Spanish Fork Dons. He is your nine hole hitter. He's flown out to right and had a sacrifice bunt. He sees a ball and a strike come across. So one and one. The last chance for the Dons to make something happen. They are down by two. 
And he sees another ball fly in. So two balls, one strike. Brady Brook, a lot of speed for a nine-hole hitter, a leadoff-esque hitter. So if he can turn this over, see if he can get more speed and bigger hitters up to the plate. And doing a good job so far. Three and one is the count on Brady Brook. Tyson Ellis has had back-to-back -back one, two, three innings. And he takes a hack on a hitter's count. No dice, three balls, two strikes, payoff pitch on the way. And uh, you gotta do whatever you can to get on base here with, you need two runs. And this one skied out to the second baseman, turns, grabs it to a run, safe. He said that Ellis was not on the bag. A difficult play because your first baseman is moving to a different spot. And so you have your second baseman, Westchilds, field the ball. And then Tyson Ellis has to sprint over to cover first. And he seemed to beat him there. But the umpire says that the runner stepped and that Ellis was not on the bag. And now they're reversing the call. So after the umpires confer, it is an out. It looked like he beat him there, but you, I mean, we can't always tell even on our close-up television screens if, if that man was on the bag. So one up and, and one down. So Maple Mountain two outs away. Tanner Argyle, who's come in and just been superb. He's had two one, two, three innings, and he's had two innings where just four batters came to the plate. Uh, very efficient in pitches and batters, not having to overthrow, which is good because he came in in relief, may not have expected to pitch four innings today. Fells went off there one and one now. So really come in, stepped up, done his job on defense. On offense, he has a strikeout fly out to right and a sacrifice fly, so I'm sure he wants to try and help his own cause here and get a hit. He sees a ball come in a little bit outside. So two balls, one strike. Gets over this one, skies it very deep. Jaron Hall waits under it though, grabs it and two outs. So do or die for the Dons. Maple Mountain clinging to that second inning where they scored five runs. It's kept them in the lead. Spanish Forks had a lot of momentum since then, but Ellis, after giving up a few runs, though a couple of those owed to errors behind him, has really settled in, and he's looking for one more out to give Maple Mountain the season sweep on the Crosstown Rivals. Devin Argyle is going to keep, try and keep the game alive. He's got a strikeout, a single, and a, a ground out to third. That single back in the third got things going for that inning. Sees a nice strike come in. So one ball, one strike, two outs. Ellis trying for a complete game victory. He's got a two-run lead with two outs in the bottom of the seventh. This one gets grounded to Cade Polson. Flips it over to Tito Dennison, and that is the game. The Maple Mountain Golden Eagles with back-to-back -back victories over the frustrated Spanish Fork Dons. Maple Mountain well on their way to contention in Region 8, and then hopefully the playoffs where both of these teams found themselves in the championship last year. We'll be right back to wrap things up with your MVP Sports MVP of the game here on Spanish Fork 16 and 17. MVP Sports is the number one source for sporting goods in Spanish Fork. Football, soccer, all the fall sports, we've got you covered. Check out our new custom t-shirt builder. Design at home and we'll build it for you. MVP Sports, 72 North Main in Spanish Fork. Need a new car or truck? The Car Guys has the best selection of used vehicles at the best prices in Spanish Fork. The Car Guys know their automobiles to get you the best car for your needs and your budget. The Car Guys at 872 North Main in Spanish Fork.
rest easy. State Farm agent Lance Wilson is there for you. Call 801-798-9288 today for the service you deserve. You know Triple T Heating and Cooling, but did you know that Triple T does plumbing? From tankless hot water, soft water, and reverse osmosis drinking water systems right down to that leaky faucet. Triple T sure does plumbing. Call Triple T at 801-798-7711 today. Pizza. For the best pizza you'll ever taste and our world famous cheese sticks, come to Two Jacks Pizza on Main Street in Spanish Fork or call us for a quick delivery. Are you hungry yet? Welcome back to Spanish Fork Community Network. Today, you got to see the Maple Mountain Golden Eagles face off with the Spanish Fork Dons. The Golden Eagles come away victorious for the second straight time Tuesday and Thursday, sweeping the Crosstown rival, and it all hinged on a second inning explosion of offense where they scored five runs and your MVP sports MVP of the game got that started. That was starting pitcher Tyson Ellis with a two run double during that second inning. Ellis also pitched a complete game. He gave up six hits. He had five strikeouts, two walks and one hit batter. The runs that actually came across despite a few handful of hits were the Dons were really owed to some errors as well. So Ellis did an excellent job on offense and defense, key RBIs, and a great job from the mound. So we thank MVP Sports for bringing you Tyler Ellis, our MVP Sports MVP of the game. Also want to thank the car guys for bringing you all your replays today. State Farm, Lance Wilson, all those RBIs. You can get a great assist from Lance Wilson. Triple T, heating, cooling, and plumbing. Two Jacks Pizza brought to you those two doubles that clinched it for Maple Mountain. No extra base hits for the Dons. MVP Sports and, of course, SFCN. Remember, you can always catch these games on channel 16 or 17, depending which team you're looking for, or on sfcn.org or youtube.com slash sfcn17. It is a beautiful evening. Maybe go out and play some ball yourselves, but you got to see two of the best in Region 8. Thanks so much for tuning in, and have a great night. <laughs>